everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you what I got since my last haul video, starting with this bath mat that I bought off of Society6. I've never purchased from there before and I was a little scared to, but I think if the shipping was great and I the product is nice, it's like plushy and soft and the design is really cute. I think it turned out really well. I mean, I was gonna go with the Hogwarts Castle bath mats, um, but I have, my shower curtain is the Hogwarts Castle and my light switch is has the Hogwarts Castle on it. So I was like, no, let me just switch it up. And I love Dobby, so I picked this one. It looks like he has a little bit of a skin infection, but it's Dobby, he doesn't have the best skin complexion there is. So I think it turned out really cute. I'm afraid to step on it though, like and get it wet, which defeats the purpose of me buying it because I got it for that specific reason, but it's all right. I'll just use a towel when I get out of the shower or bath or whatever. And he's just a little decor piece. <laughs> but if you want to see how my Harry Potter themed bathroom is coming along, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post pictures on there. Oh, if you want to see what the back looks like, it has like this grippy grip on it and it, it's really plush. I think it turned out really cute. I like it. I'll buy again from there. <laughs> Next, I got this Nigini bag on Box Lunch. Oh my gosh, they had the best Daniel Nicole bag sale recently on there. And this bag was originally $64.90 and I only paid like 20 bucks. Oh my god. I They had all the Horcrux bags on sale and I was going to get them all. But then I showed some willpower and I only got this one. I've been wanting this one since I've seen it. And now I'm just going to wait for sales on the Daniel Nicole bags. Because usually they always go on sale. I didn't wait for a few couple of them in my collection and now I'm just gonna be patient that's what I'm, I'm afraid they're gonna sell out and never come back but usually it never happens to me so now I'm just going to be patient with the bags because I mean they're amazing and stuff but might as well get it on sale so I'm going to wait from now on pinky promise maybe not because I might break that promise but it has a little um, tassel for the zipper and there is no there's no pocket in here um, it just comes with the whole Daniel Nicole little bag so you can store it or whatever you want to do I love the little chain detail and then the back has the Gryffindor sword on the back of it so I, I like that little detail very cute I live I, I regret not getting the other bags on that sale Ugh, why did I show willpower again I'm obsessed with bags I really do need to um, do that bag collection video because I asked you all before and most of you said that you wanted to see that so I'll get around to it <laughs> This too was on sale on the Box Lunge website. I've been seeing this for a f quite some time now and I wanted it but then I didn't want it because I feel like I would never use it because I don't want to get it ruined. But it was on sale for like $4. I mean, the original price is $6.90 so it's not a huge sale but it is a sale and I, I think the design is really cute and it feels like it, it feels really well made. Again. At box lunch this was on sale I can't remember how much I got it on sale for but the original price was $39.90 and I paid around $20 on the lower end of $20 and uh, yeah you know I'm doing a Harry Potter themed bathroom so I needed some Slytherin towels and it comes with like a hand towel sort of and then a regular sized towel at books a million they had the cutest Luna Lovegood mug. I know I've said before that I don't really use mugs, I just use them as decoration, but now I've started using mugs, like, basically every day, so I couldn't resist this mug. I haven't bought any mugs, actually, since I've started actually using mugs, because I already have a quite the collection of mugs, so I couldn't resist this one, though, because it's Luna. She's adorable. I love it. At Hot Topic, I got this Sirius Black t-shirt and pop combo. I originally wasn't going to get the dog version. Even though Sirius Black is my favorite character, I wasn't going to get the dog version of him in a Funko Pop because, it, I don't know, I just, I always buy Funko Pops that, I don't know, it has to have a little something something to it. Like, I love Sirius Black, but it's just a dog pop and I don't feel like it's very recognizable 
right? I don't know, it's just my opinion. But when they came out with this set, I was like, you're getting a t-shirt. I love the t-shirt. And I mean, they have the regular version of this dog pop and then the flocked version. So I was like, oh, it's a flocked pop. I don't have any flocked pops, so I got it. I couldn't resist. And I really love the shirt. It's very cute. Is that in frame? No, not yet. Okay, basically. Cute shirt, and then the flocked pop. I'm going to take it out of the box. I always take my pops out of the box. I don't know how people can't do it. I can't resist. And there we have the flocked serious black pop. It's very cute. I like flocked. Flocked. <laughs> I like it flocked. <laughs> this is my first flocked pop. Flocked pop. I need to stop saying flocked. At Hot Topic, I picked up some jewelry. They always have a really nice jewelry sale. So I picked up this Slytherin constellation. I'm not really into that whole astrological, whatever, sort of bit. But I thought this necklace was really cute. It has a little snakey snake, the little constellation majig. And then it says Slytherin there. And very cute, I thought. And then I got this golden snitch necklace. It has three little um, circle hoop things and a little dainty snitch that was cute. And then, not Harry Potter related, but I love Snow White. And they had this little, it looks like a little potion. <laughs> and it has the poison apple, which I'm obsessed with po everything poison apple. I don't know if the glare is gonna show you the poison apple, but there's a poison apple there and a little a crown thing and then it says unfairest of them all I love that so cute and a little heart jewel there very pretty and then this isn't Harry Potter but it's I love cat ears I love wearing cat ears and this one has snakes wrapped around the ears and I could not resist that is friggin cute <laughs> And then I got a time turner necklace because why not? I don't have a time turner neck. Oh, I do, but it's a raven. No, I have two. What am I talking? What am I even talking about? I have two uh, time turner necklaces. One was the very simplistic one from Loot Crate. I think it was from Loot Crate. And then I have one from a subscription box that has Ravenclaw sand because it's blue. So I, I, I don't have one that's more... Not so simple, I guess, because the Loot Crate one is very simple looking and this one's more. I like this one a lot. And it has sort of like iridescent glitters, sand, what have you, inside. I think it's very pretty. So I got that one. At Hot Topic, I got this Harry Potter uh, collapsible storage basket. I'm going to put this in my Harry Potter uh, themed bathroom and put my dirty clothes in there. <laughs> That's the design, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> On Etsy, I got this Ministry of Magic This Way sticker, and I'm going to put this on my toilet, because, you know, I, I'm sure you've seen those pictures everywhere. And since I'm doing the Harry Potter-themed bathroom, I thought, why not put this on there? So, I got it. <laughs> At Dollar Tree, they had these eight wall decals and I only found one of these and I'm I've been looking at all my Dollar Trees to find more because this Honey Dukes uh, wall decal will look really cool on like jars and stuff and I love the whole little chocolate frogs it has a Hogwarts crest platform nine and three quarters little train I mean Nocturne Alley a little broomstick these are so cute and I can't believe I found them at Dollar Tree I mean that's so cool at Walmart, they had these mashems. They're like little squishy thingy-majigs, and I already opened it. I, I, I only bought this because I was like, oh, there's a chance I might get Dobby, and I didn't get Dobby. <laughs> I hit mystery things. I hate them. Uh, but yeah, I got Hermione, and I mean, it's very sticky, but I guess you could put some sort of powder on it to like make it less sticky. I won't be buying any more of these, but they're at Walmart if you want them. Very sticky. Very sticky. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell it's sticky? <laughs> they're cute, <laughs> I guess. 
at Target they have the cutest Harry Potter Happy Valentine's Day three pair pack of crew socks. I could not resist this even though one of the pairs is Gryffindor related. I mean look at this packaging. I just love it so much. I've never seen Harry Potter Valentine's Day cards at Walmart or Target. I don't know if that exists. Probably does. I don't know. I've never seen it personally, but this is so much cooler because it's socks and socks are useful. <laughs> and yeah, I'll show you the um, socks now. Whoop. This was like $8, so $8 for this adorable packaging and three pairs of socks. That's, it's so cute. I love it. So we've got one pair that just has the uh, house animals all over it. Cute. And then we have the Golden Trio, Hermione, Ron, and Harry on one pair, and then the Gryffindor socks. I mean, I have Gryffindor friends, so this will definitely find a home eventually. And I like that the lion has glitter on it. I just think this is so, so cute. Oh, I hope they do this every year. They have to do it every year now because I won't be satisfied. I mean, they did uh, for Christmas the advent calendar, so now they're doing Valentine's Day, sort of. It's not an advent calendar, but this is cool. I like this so much. <laughs> I wish they had a Nightmare Before Christmas set. Why didn't they have that? I think they had like Star Wars. Uh, that's all I can remember. It was Star Wars and Harry Potter. I'm going blank on the rest. For Christmas, my friend Sandy got me a candle that says Christmas in the Great Hall and I already burnt it a little bit, but this smells so good. And it has little holographic glitters on there. I don't know if you can tell if the light's picking up the hollow, but this smells so good. And she also got me this Groot. Oh my gosh, this Groot, he's all decked out in Christmas holiday majig i'll take him out i've been wanting this pop and when i when i opened up her package i was like oh because i've been wanting it and i finally have it now this is so cute he's so adorable i love groot baby groot in specific so thanks again sandy i love it and i'm still burning this candle i haven't gone through it much but it smells so good at Walmart, I got this Jack Skellington Pez. I saw this originally on Hot Topic and Box Lunch, and then I decided not to get them, and then I saw him at Walmart, and I couldn't resist. I mean, he's a lot bigger than the average Pez, so now I'm debating on getting all of the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. They have Sally, Oogie Boogie that glows in the dark, and Vampire Teddy. I'm not aware if there's any others, but I, I, know, I don't buy Pez, but I couldn't... I just... I love him <laughs> and they are coming out with a Dobby one I saw that uh, I didn't see him I didn't see the actual product but they had like this little list or whatever and it said Dobby is going to be one and I think it's Funko a Funko slash Pez one uh, I know they made Harry Potter Pez's before but I don't think it was Funko as well you know what I mean but I missed out on that one because I was like I don't buy Pez I should have gone. I still regret. <laughs> so much regret. But I'm excited for the Dobby one. I'm definitely going to get Dobby. And I know there's going to be others. I think this with the sorting hat too. Um, I can't remember which character. Maybe the Golden Trio. I'm not really sure. But we'll see when that comes because I'm going to get it. Because eh, willpower out the door. <laughs> I just threw him. He's fine. He's fine. At Books A Million, as I was checking out, I noticed that they had all the Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pop pens. And for some reason, I waited on buying these. And I'm glad that I did because once I got to the register, they rang up on sale. They were like $2 and some cents each. And you know, see, when you wait to buy something, you either get it on sale or you completely miss out. So I'm really glad that I didn't miss out on these and I got them on sale. At Target, I got this sock set. It comes with three pairs. One says Mischief Managed. One has this very vibrant design with the Deathly Hollow symbol, Harry's glasses and scar, and some little stars. And then this platform nine and three quarters design. And they all have pink in it. So I wonder if this is like, I don't know, Valentine's Day-y, <laughs> maybe. 
And last is this Nagini pop. I wasn't sure if I was going to get her because I told myself that's it. I need to stop buying pops unless it's like a need, need, need. And I didn't know if I need, need, needed her. <laughs> so, but then she went on sale for $7 on box lunch. And I was like, okay, she's coming home to me. She's coming home to me. She's a nice, heavy pop. I like her. So, yeah, I brought her home. Well, I ordered her online and then she came to me. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, thanks for watching. <laughs>